good notes. I'm writing this letter to you to express a sentiment I have towards one of your apps that I've felt for quite a while now, but I've never really spoken up about it. But I think now's about the time you should know. I remember getting my iPad in 2018 and the first thing I did in the first couple of weeks of getting it was go on the hunt for the perfect note-taking app. And I remember going on the App Store and downloading every single free note-taking app that I could get my hands on. But after testing out all these apps for a couple of weeks, I didn't really feel anything, and there was nothing about them that made me look forward to using them again. And then I came across your app. And yes, at the time, it cost $10, and as a student with no income, it kind of felt like a bit of a financial risk. But I took the risk, and I went all in, and I remember the first time I wrote on it, because I was blown away. Because for the first time using my iPad, I experienced something that made me not want to put this thing down again. From taking notes, drawing, or just random stuff. And I know this is a weird thing to say about an app, but your app genuinely inspired me. And I was very grateful that I discovered your app at that particular time, when I was figuring out how to learn, how to study, how to teach. And your app freed me up as a student and allowed me to learn and interact with my content in a way that just felt magical to me. And over the past few years, I've used your app and your apps in all their iterations to take notes, and I've loved the experience. It's with your app that I created my physiology textbook, my cell biology notes, my finance, maths, statistics notes. It's with your app that I've taught my friends in collaborative group study sessions on Zoom. It's with your app that I do the overlay drawing feature that people have seen on my YouTube channel. And it's with your app that I collect and brainstorm ideas for work presentations and even these YouTube videos. And in the age where app companies are turning to subscription models to exploit their growing customer base, not to mention any names, good notes, you're different. Not only do you stay away from the corporate subscription model, but good notes, of all the paid note-taking apps out there, you actually give your customers a free trial of your app. You give them the chance to try out your mechanics, your tools, your settings, your colors, your features, and you give a chance for your potential customers to come to a decision for themselves as to whether or not they want the app before they go and spend their 10 or $15. And I respect that. And I respect the fact that you're a brand that actually listens to its customers and tries to meet their needs. And it's because I respect you that I need to tell you the truth and come clean about something. And it's not just to you, but it's to my audience as well. I don't use GoodNotes 5. In fact, I haven't used it for at least a year. Instead, I actually use GoodNotes 4. Yes, the previous iteration of the GoodNotes app that isn't even available on the App Store anymore. Now, why do I use GoodNotes 4? Well, there's something GoodNotes 4 has that I really, really like that GoodNotes 5 doesn't. You see, a couple years ago, I made a video talking about what I believe to be the best note-taking app. And it was basically a comparison between the two leading apps at the time, Notability and GoodNotes. And I talked about how, to me, there were three things I cared about when I'm judging a note-taking app. Firstly, a great file management system. Secondly, a plethora of tools, colors, and other creative features. And thirdly, a great writing experience. And if you go back and watch the video and pay really close attention, although I concluded the video by saying I use both the apps, the app that I spoke most passionately about was GoodNotes. And up until that point, I'd been using GoodNotes 4 for a really long time. And the reason I liked it was because of one thing, the writing experience because I genuinely believe that's what makes a great note-taking app. The writing mechanics of how the Apple Pencil interacts with the software on the iPad. If you get that right, that's what makes you go back to the iPad again and again and again and not want to put it down. And with GoodNotes 4, the writing mechanics were so good that I didn't even want to use pen and paper. And I think during that transition period of shifting from GoodNotes 4 to GoodNotes 5, I kind of went from using the iPad every single day and not wanting to put it down to not really using it as much. And I kind of convinced myself into thinking that, okay, that honeymoon phase that we always have with that new piece of technology that makes us not want to put it down, that's finally wearing off. That the iPad's just like every other piece of technology and I'm finally getting over it. But one day last year, I opened up GoodNotes 4 just to look at some of the old notes I'd made. And I remember thinking, wow, like my, my handwriting in these notes looks so much better than my notes in GoodNotes 5. 
And then I tried out writing in GoodNotes 4 again, and I was like, this feels amazing. This is what I felt in 2018 when I first got the iPad, and I enjoyed writing on it so much that I never even touched paper. And I've been asking myself all this time, why does it feel different to GoodNotes 5? And for over a year, I've thought it's just me, it's all in my head, and something's wrong with me. But I spoke to a friend the other day who's very similar to me because they too use the fountain pen in GoodNotes. And they told me that they prefer the GoodNotes 4 fountain pen more than the GoodNotes 5 fountain pen. And we had this full discussion trying to distill down what makes GoodNotes 4 so special. What's the magic behind it? And we came down to two things. Firstly, the experience of writing in GoodNotes just feels so good. I don't know what it is, but there's something in the mechanics of the software and the digital ink and the pressure sensitivity that's just balanced perfectly. So much so that you don't want to go back to real paper. And secondly, out of all the apps out there, our handwriting, and maybe it's just our handwriting in particular, just looks like something we actually want to look at. And, and that's what we want from our note-taking apps, for our handwriting to look like something we actually want to look at. Now, in case you want specifics to test this out for yourself, I use the fountain pen in GoodNotes 4 at around a thickness of 2.0 and I use the quad narrow ruled paper. And that combination for me personally is perfect. I could write all day with it. And that's no exaggeration because I literally did write all day with it when I made my physiology notes. But you see, when I try and emulate the same on GoodNotes 5 on its fountain pen, there's something just a little bit off about the pressure sensitivity and the mechanics of the fountain pen. And it's really hard to explain unless you try it out for yourself, but I think the best I can do is when you zoom in a lot, which is something I personally do all the time, you can see how the difference in writing mechanics is exaggerated. The fountain pen in GoodNotes 5 feels like a very exaggerated fountain pen in terms of thicknesses and, and the way the thickness changes when compared to GoodNotes 4. And when you're writing smaller, it isn't as obvious, but it's still noticeable and, and you can feel it as you're writing. And as minute a detail as this might seem to the average person, although GoodNotes 5 beats GoodNotes 4 in almost every other category, I still go back to GoodNotes 4 because of its writing experience. Just to make sure that it wasn't just me thinking all of this in my head, I recently tested this out with some of my friends at university and so I pulled up both of the apps and I got them to test out the fountain pen in both of them. And of all the people who are existing iPad users, of which there are around five or six, there was a consensus that GoodNotes 4 just feels better, but it was hard to explain why. And they too have been asking me how they can get their hands on the app, because as we've established already, it's no longer found on the App Store. So good notes. I guess the point of this video is to say that although GoodNotes 5 is probably the leading note-taking app out there and does the job for many people, it's not all it could be. And I say that because you've shown us what a truly excellent writing experience feels like in GoodNotes 4. So good notes, if you can somehow find a way to take the writing experience of the fountain pen in GoodNotes 4 and somehow embed it into GoodNotes 5, maybe in a future update or a future release, and you know, you can even call it the original GoodNotes fountain pen, that would be amazing. And I'm telling you, there would be no more competition. That would end the debate for the greatest note-taking app of all time. And in the meantime, if you could potentially consider making GoodNotes 4 available to the public again, maybe for free if you're kind enough to do so, because I think there is a significant proportion of people out there who are still struggling to find the writing experience that they like on the iPad. And I think holding back such a great app like GoodNotes 4 is like really sad when it could be serving those people. But to conclude, either way, GoodNotes, I absolutely love the app you've created. And I have such great appreciation for those individuals all those many years ago who had the insight to, to see the possibility of what the iPad could be if the right kind of software was developed for it. And to keep in mind the potential of this software to go on to inspire students like me to do wonderful things with this tool. And, and just so you know, to say that your app inspired me and, and, and contributed to my growth as a student along with the growth of the people who watch this channel is, you know, quite the understatement. And for that, I'm truly grateful. 
and I'm keen to see what you do next. Hey! I guess I forgot the way it feels to chase a dream. Thank God for boxes, first CDs. Yeah.